There we go. 90 out of 100. It's a malt mark. Our big 10-year-old. Do you know what malt mates? Moving on rather swiftly because I've got a bit of room in the table, you see. I can spread myself out a bit and introduce a bottle of Jameson's Gold Reserve and another glass. Why am I doing that? Let me demonstrate. Let me show you. Squeaky corks. We love them. There we go. There's a little bit of caramel in this. This is a pop market Irish whiskey, which is not too pretentious and not too expensive. Right, there it is. Jameson's Gold Reserve. Here's the Ardbeg. Pop the cork in that. Get a spoon, a unit of measurement. Hold the spoon over the glass so that if you spill any of this whiskey, it doesn't go to waste. Half a teaspoon. Ardbeg and Irish whiskey, from my experience, blend beautifully. Ardbeg single malt is a great blend experiment malt. It tends to get on with a lot of other whiskies when it comes to blending, in particular Irish whiskies. I don't know why. But bear in mind, Ardbeg is closer to Ireland than it is to Speyside. Yeah. There you go. Proximity. The Irish whisky is grainy, slightly creamy, relatively light. Tends to be a delicate whisky. Also, it's not too sweet. It's a medium to dry whisky often. In fact, the most disappointing Irish whiskies tend to be matured in sweetened barrels. So what we've got, I'm gonna add a wee drop of water here. You could choose Tullamore Dew, you could choose Bushmills, you could choose Glendalough, you could choose Middleton, you could choose, well this is Middleton, but you could choose Middleton Powers, Paddies, writer's tears take your pick there's plenty of irish whiskey out there all of them without exception with a drop of our beg become something really quite special it's as if the art beg lifts the character out the irish whiskey without imposing its own phenolic presence too directly and too much of an imposition. Very nice indeed. That's just a topical tip, just a handy hint to help you out with your malt missions. Um,